So as part of getting started, we're now going to take our first measurement. And to do that, we're going to measure the area and the perimeter of this grass area, which covers some flower beds right in the corner. It's quite a large space. So we're going to choose a close shape measurement because that's what we want to capture the area in the perimeter. And of course, remember, it's capturing all of those elevation changes. So we need to choose somewhere memorable to start because we're going to start and finish in exactly the same place. We're going to choose this corner over here. This corner is memorable. It's where we can come back to. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to tap on our Mosher app. And to start any measurement, we tap on the green plus icon. As soon as we tap on the green plus icon, we've got our measurement type selection. As I say, we're choosing close shape, so we tap on that and it says waiting to connect. So remember to rotate to turn on, you simply raise the device in the air, you turn it towards three o'clock, nine o'clock, and you can see it turns red. That is now on and ready to go. It says to place at the start. So if I place it down here, it's gonna capture that as a measurement point. We don't want that. We want to place it where we want to start. This is memorable. Remember, when we place at the start, you can hear the sound. It goes from red to green. It's capturing that measurement. Look how it's aligned directly into the corner where the front of the housing sits because that's our reference point. So we're going to start measuring now. Now we are measuring in meters. Now you can easily change that into feet and inches within the settings. You simply tap on the cog and go to measuring options and you can change that now. You can change it afterwards. So we have now got a straight line measurement. It starts automatically in straight line. So remember, we're going to use those techniques that we've already looked at as part of our getting started. We're holding it with two fingers and our thumb. Maintaining that light grip allows us to lift the device, walk at a quick energetic pace. We're not going to make this in one go. We're going to split this measurement into two. Let's walk quickly. And as we walk quickly, we're getting towards the end of the green and we place and point and orient the device into the edge. It's gone from red to green. It's captured the measurement. We can now continue and walk to this corner. We're going to place that directly into the corner like so. So that just transitioned from the green into the amber. And remember, you can stop and pause as often as you want or as often as you need to. Don't go into the red. Try to aim to pause when it's in the green or at least transitioning from the green into the amber on longer walks. Now, our next measurement is not a straight line. This is more of a curve. Now, I've got a couple of options here. I can choose an arc measurement or I can choose trace line. I'm actually going to choose trace line for this. And trace line will allow us to capture exactly where we place our mosher. Now, the reason I'm choosing trace line here is one, to show you how it works. But secondly, there's nothing in the way. I can simply walk and maneuver my mosher along the edges and contours of this curve. I'm going to continue in trace line mode. And again, I'm going to walk along quick, fast pace, tracing all along here, and I orient it and trace it into that corner. This is now a straight line. So the first thing to remember, use pause points to look ahead, see where you're going to measure, and to choose your path type. So I'm going to tap on straight line. It's now gone back into straight line. I'm not going to make this measurement in one go. It might be two or three. I'm going to walk along fast pace, turn gently, place it, and capture that measurement point. So again, remember the techniques. I am rotating gently, not abruptly, and I'm placing it down gently, but I'm being precise with where I'm placing it down. We've already walked this site before we started. And that's one of the tips and tricks is clear away any debris, branches, anywhere where you're likely to place your device. You'll get a lot more accuracy with your measurements. Let's continue. So I'm gonna place it around about there. And again, we're coming into 
the edge here. Again, we are continuing in a straight line measurement. So I'm gonna walk at a fast pace. This is gonna take quite a few to get to the end of this measurement. So let's go quickly. Look where you're going to place it. Around about there, I'm gonna place it in that little bit of grass and it captures the measurement point for me. Again, straight line measurement, let's go. Let me place it for you on this edge of the grass here. And look how I've done my thumb and finger as a V, allowing the device to become completely still. Let's continue. Remember, you need to make the device completely still to capture a measurement point. And away we go. Continuing in straight line measurement. And let's pause just there. Now we're coming up to what I can see is a more arc measurement. So I'm going to walk next to where the arc is likely to start. I can do that within the time allowed. And I think the arc is starting around about there. Now, because this is arc, Instead of using trace line, I'm going to choose the arc path type. When you're measuring with arc, you need to capture a minimum of three pause points. This is our first one. So our second one needs to be somewhere centrally. And the third one needs to be the end of the arc. So let's walk to our central point, which is around about here. Now, we've got quite a lot of shrubs in the way here. If we were using trace line, it's gonna be very difficult to get through all of these shrubs. Our trace line with traces moving out from there. This is why I'm choosing the arc path type. So to walk towards the end, what you'll notice is I can walk around and when I place the device, you'll see that I've already cleared away some debris that was in the way there. Now remember, we now need to choose straight line because we're back on a straight line measurement. These flowers are in the way. I can simply walk around these, walk quickly, pause as often as I need to. Let's pause just here. And again, we'll continue as a straight line measurement. Pause. Each time we're pointing and aligning the front of the housing into the edge of where we're measuring. Another straight line measurement. And I'd probably say we've got a couple more to fit in here. So I'm gonna split this measurement, aim to pause around about there. We should now make the corner of this straight line. So again, remember to orient the device so it's right into the corner so that you can capture the measurement point. Now, we've now got another arc. So we've got options now. Yeah, we could actually measure this with a straight line as long as we stop enough times, it will capture the changes in the arc measurement. We could use trace line, but we've got arc which is dedicated to measuring this kind of measurement. Again, we've captured the first one. Walk around these benches. Pause in the middle. And again, all the way to the end. So it draws a straight line, but as soon as we take our third measurement, the app turns to an arc. We're now finishing at the same place where we started. So we tap on the red stop icon. And now what we can do is tap on file, we'll save this measurement. Let's save this as park area one. We tap on the project folder. We can save that to industry projects that will do and we'll save that measurement. So now we've taken the area and the perimeter of all of this area. I can see that the perimeter is 626.2 foot with a total area of 22,662.8 square foot. And remember, if we tap on the little cog and go to our 
measuring units. We can change this to meters. So just to let you know, that measurement is 190.87 um, meters with a total area of 2,105.4 square meters. So you've got all that information. That's taking our first measurement, taking into account our three techniques, which is walking quickly, rotating gradually, not abruptly, and remember to place our device gently, but quickly. And that is our first measurement.